now that we have learned how to kill a player in Roblox, we can now build tools and weapons that can kill other players in the game. Something similar to this laser gun right here. If I use this laser gun on one of the dummies over there, it's going to kill them. Or if I use it on another player, it's going to kill the other player. Let's take a look. I'm going to go and the dummy is dead. So now let's go back to studio and see how we can make this laser gun that would kill another player inside Roblox. Here we are inside Roblox Studio and to make a tool, we're going to go to our workspace. We're going to add a tool. Let's name our tool laser gun. And now go to the toolbox. We're going to search for meshes and we're going to search for a laser gun. Hit enter. I'm going to select this hand cannon. Click on it and it goes inside the workspace. I'm going to take this hand cannon and I'm going to put it inside my laser gun tool. Rename this to handle. Let's now close the toolbox and we're going to resize this. We're going to scale it to make it a little bit bigger. I'm now going to collapse this laser gun and I'm going to drag it and put it inside the starter pack. So I want to try it out. Let's play test and take a look. So here is my laser gun. I'm going to equip it. And let's make a few adjustments so that it looks better. You can see I'm holding the gun like too far at the front, right? So I want to move the gun further to the right. So we're going to go to our workspace. We're going to go to the character that is holding the gun. We're going to look for our laser gun, select it. Go to the properties window, the grip position. We're going to change instead of zero for the Z component, we're going to make it 0 0.5. And that looks better. Let's take a look at the other side. Okay, it looks pretty good. Now I'm going to right click on the laser gun, copy, press stop, go back to the starter pack, right click and paste into. This is my new laser gun that I've adjusted. I'm going to delete the old laser gun that was inside the starter pack earlier. So I'm going to select that one, press delete. Now, if you want to make sure, play test again and take a look. And I'm going to equip the laser gun. And the whole thing there looks pretty good. Let's now bring the laser gun back into the workspace so we, we can work on it. I'm going to put it back into the workspace. Here's my laser gun. Add a part. And we're going to resize our part. I'm going to change the color of the part to red so we can see it better and change the transparency to 0.5 so we can see through it. Now we want to place this part here where the laser beam is going to be. We're going to resize the part, make it thinner and just move it to where the laser beam is going to be. So here it is. As you can see, I have placed my part at the location where I want the laser beam to be. Let's rename our part to hitbox. So this hitbox is what's going to kill the player. The laser beam is just for visual effects, but when the player touches this hitbox, it's going to kill the player. Let's build our laser beam. So we're going to go to the hitbox. We're going to add two attachments to it. So first attachment right here, and I'm going to add one more attachment. Second attachment right here. So my hitbox now has two attachments. Now, in case you don't see your attachment, you may want to go to your model menu tab, go to the constraints section and turn on constraints detail. But as you can see, I have constraints detail off and I can still see my attachment. So I don't need to do anything here, but in case you don't see it, then just come over here, click on constraints detail, and you should be able to see your attachment. The first one, I'm going to rename it to start. And the second one, I'm going to rename it to end. I'm going to go to my start attachment and I'm going to move it to where the laser is going to start. So it's going to start exactly where the, the uh, at the start of the gun, the end attachment, and I'm going to move it 
to the end of the block. Go back to the hitbox, we're going to add a beam for the laser beam. So click on the plus sign and select beam. If you don't see beam in the drop down, you can search for it in the search object box here. But my beam is right here, so I'm just going to select it. Select the beam, go to the properties window, attachment zero, click on attachment zero and select start. Click on attachment one and select end. Connecting this beam to the two attachments. Basically, this laser beam is going to run an image from this point to this point, and that's going to create a visual effect of a laser beam. For example, I'm going to go to one of my images. I'm just going to select this image right here, so copy asset ID. And if I choose the beam, go back to the properties of the beam, look for texture, and right click, paste the uh, copy asset ID into the URL, hit enter. And you can see now I have changed the image of my beam. But the image that we want to use in this case to make a laser beam is the image with this Im image ID. The asset ID is 60, 60, 54, 20, 21. And there it is. That is the image of the beam that we want to use in this case. I can now select the hitbox and change the transparency of the hitbox to 1 to make it disappear. So now all we have left is the laser beam. You can change how the laser beam look by selecting the laser beam. Go to the properties window. We can change the color of the beam. For example, if you want purple, you can select purple. Click OK. Now the laser beam is purple. Light emission to 1. Texture length to 2. Texture speed to 4. Transparency, I'm going to change it to 0. Let me try it again. 0. We want to enable the face camera. That makes it look nicer in every angle. And I'm going to change the width 0 to 2. OK, so now I'm going to collapse my hitbox here. And I'm going to move this hitbox inside the laser gun. Next thing we need to do is we need to weld this hitbox to our gun, to our handle. So we're going to select the handle and the hitbox. We're going to go to the model menu tab constraints, click on create and weld. Now we can go back to the handle and the hitbox and double check. Expand the handle, expand the hitbox and you see a weld constraint there. Select the weld constraint and part zero is the hitbox, part one is the handle. So the two has been welded together. You can also see the weld constraint here between the handle and the hitbox. All right, we're all done with the laser gun, so we can now move the laser gun back into the starter pack. And now let's go to the laser gun. We're gonna add a script. It's gonna be a kill script. I actually wanna put my script inside the hitbox, not the laser gun, because it is the hitbox that's gonna kill the player. And now inside the script, just enter the following lines. This here is just a basic kill script. And if you want more information on how this works, you can refer to our prior tutorial on how to kill a player. When the player touches a part, touches this part, the hitbox, we're taking away all the health from the player, and that's what's going to kill the player. Let's now play test and take a look. So here we are. I'm going to go and I'm going to equip my laser gun. And you, you see, I haven't reached the player yet, so I didn't kill him. In this case, the player is a dummy, but it's going to work the same way on players inside the game. And I'm going to go and hit a player. It killed that person. And I'm going to go to the next player. And it killed the other player as well. So that is how you make tools and weapons inside Roblox. In this case, we have a laser gun that kills other players. 
Now, in case you don't want to kill the player right away, you want to make it more interesting, like you have to hit the player multiple times to kill the player, you can change this. Instead of changing the health to zero, you can subtract the health or you can just use the take damage function to take away health from the player. In this case, we're just going to take away one health for each hit. But it's going to hit the player multiple times because we don't have a debouncing process in, in this um, script here. Let's play test and take a look. I'm going to go and now I'm going to equip my laser gun. And let's see. I'm going to turn around the other way. You can see he jumped because he got hurt, but he didn't die because it's not going to kill him right away unless if I hit him again. He still didn't die. I'm going to hit him again. Oh, he jumped again, but he's still alive. One more time, and he's dead. Back to this one. You see, I hit her, but she didn't die right away, unless if I hit her again, and again, and she's dead. For more information on how to make Roblox tools and weapons, you can come to our Price CP YouTube channel to learn everything you need to know about tools and weapons inside Roblox, including how to make an on-off switch on your tool. For example, if you pull out this laser gun, the laser is not going to be on right away and you would have to turn it on for the laser to come on. And once you're done, you can turn it off and then you can put away your tool. So you can learn all that by going to our channel, Price CP Roblox, and scroll down. The, the first section here is for beginners. Go past that section, you have the how-to series. And here you have the basic tools. So in this playlist, you can learn everything you need to know about tools and weapons inside Roblox. All right, so hope you have enjoyed the video and we will see you in our next tutorial. Take care, everyone. Peace.